Hey everybody, Stephen Bogren here from Pro Physique. Today, I want to talk about the unsexy truths of fitness. I hope you're all having a great day so far. What a weird friggin' video topic, Stephen. What the hell are you talking about? And why are you talking about stuff that ain't sexy? And there's a good reason. Because a lot of the stuff that's not that sexy is the base for how we make progress and the base for how we get to where we want to be. And that can be really, really important. Because I see over and over again so many people frustrated. How do I get where I want to go in terms of fitness and my physique, building muscle, losing body fat, and just feeling maybe a little bit better about how my body works? And that can be very frustrating sometimes to feel like we don't look the way we see ourselves or we don't feel like we can perform the way that we want or need to perform for even just our normal daily life stuff. And so, Quite often what we see is we see people offering us a quick fix, an easy answer. And I do think the unsexy easy answer is time and consistency. However, a lot of times the easy answer is a diet pill or a waist trainer or something of the sort. And <clears throat> it's this weird thing to think that this one exterior thing is going to just do it all, right? And so, but it's, it's, it's sexy and it's fun and you're like, ooh, this is exciting. I'm going to get where I want to be and it's going to be nice and it's going to not take a ton of effort and it's going to be quick and it's not going to really, you know, derail my life. But the truth of the matter is, quite often, the people who are selling us these items, they're selling us the diet pill, uh, the, you know, electric ab maker, whatever it might be, <laughs> those people have been doing the same unsexy, consistent things for a very long time. And when we talk about that, it's not, it's very easy for us to say, oh, well, yeah, sure, they, they look like they work out. The reason they look like they work out or the reason they look like they pay attention to their diet is because they work out and they pay attention to their diets. And so I absolutely believe there are definitely some things that can help. Like I love having knee sleeves. My knees just feel a little bit better. However, I still have to go in. I still have to work legs. I still have to do leg press or squat or an RDL, whatever it might be. I have to have the stimulus for that adaptation of muscle. And so, you know, I will desexify it by making it very, very scientific. If we want more muscle, if we want to be stronger, these are adaptations that come from specific activities. And there are a lot of different ways we can do it. And there's a whole hell of a lot of different ways we can be healthy, which is a very different thing. So we want to be aware that we can try and structure this to our own personal preferences. Hey, you don't like running? Guess what? We can do cardio on a bicycle. Oh, we don't like that either? I can do cardio doing jujitsu, right? Um, <laughs> I can walk, I can get a step count and still have positive benefits in terms of things like my cardiovascular system and my body composition. And so finding ways to enjoy the process as much as possible are going to be really, really pivotal in our long-term success. Because quite often, we don't want to talk about lifestyle change. We want to continue our lifestyle that we're comfortable in, um, which, hey, I get it. I'm pretty comfortable in my lifestyle, right? Um, <laughs> and changing that can be scary and create feelings of discomfort and create discomfort in the life. However, there are some huge benefits in terms of the health side of things for what we're going to get by being more active and doing those things that are less sexy, like going to the gym three to four days a week, lifting weights, challenging ourselves, getting sweaty, you know, um, learning new things, learning how to perform lifts, learning how um, to, you know, do a dumbbell hammer curl or a squat or a Romanian deadlift and making sure that we're doing them and doing them safely. Because obviously, yes, there is always inherent risk that comes with physical activity and lifting weights. However, when we learn, we can moderate that and keep it to a minimum. 
And so it's going to absolutely be uncomfortable and it's going to take time away. And there's nothing wrong if you don't make it in there every single time. The no pain, no gain, it sounds cool, right? It sounds tough, awesome. However, you can maintain a lot of muscle mass working out a few days a week while you focus on some other things like maybe professional or personal life goals. And those are okay too. Again, it's not sexy to say that, hey, if you have a time where you can't train five to six days a week and you need to focus on your work life because the world is a crazy place and things change quickly and sometimes we need to focus on those things, that is okay and it's not going to ruin all of your fitness progress, right? Again, once we've built that muscle, it becomes much easier to maintain and we don't have to, you know, force it every single time. Now, if we want to continue building muscle, that becomes more difficult as time goes on. And yes, you will need more volume. Yes, you may need to add an extra day. Yes, you may need to do some things to your diet to make sure that you're getting enough recovery. But if we really simplify things down to make it very basic for us, like how are we successful here? We exercise regularly, right? We resistance train with that, at least semi-regularly. And we do it in a safe, controlled environment where we pay attention to minimizing our risk. We eat enough protein. Why do we need to eat enough protein? So that we can build and maintain muscle mass. Muscles are made of proteins, so we have to make sure that we get enough to maintain that, right? And we find ways to incorporate those things that we enjoy. If we enjoy less traditional weight training, maybe we find some semblance or some manner of weight training that we do enjoy. Maybe it's workouts of the days, right? But we do them in a, as safe of an environment as possible, making sure that we really understand how to lift safely, how to perform the lifts that we're gonna be doing, and minimizing our injury risk. Maybe it's jujitsu or Muay Thai or a fight sport, right? And that's okay too. Remember, fitness comes in many shapes and sizes. And so trying to force yourself into someone else's is normally not going to work. And this is going to be my last point of the day is lots of people are trying to sell you their bodies. But unfortunately, that will never work and it's never going to happen for us. We are all built in our own wonderful ways. We all have our own limb lengths and muscle insertions and origins. And so we are all going to look like ourselves. Sometimes we can look like a leaner or a less lean version of ourselves or a muscular, more muscular or less muscular version of ourselves. Those things are all okay, but we will always be ourselves. So it becomes very important to say, I want to prioritize my health, I want to prioritize my fitness, but I also want to be accepting and encouraging of my own body and my own physique, even though yes, I may want to improve it and do some things to try and change it. So we can always strive for better, but still be happy with where we're at. So I know this wasn't a long one, but I wanted to talk about some unsexy truths that were coming up on my mind today, and that's gonna be it. I'll talk to you all soon.